I said I would ever make one of these videos because I've just always hated the idea of someone uploading a video talking about how they're not uploading videos. Especially with smaller channels, because then, like, no one even cares, you know? I mean, that's the equivalent of going outside with a sign, you know, asking for money because you're homeless, except you're in the desert and there's no people around. But there's no, there's no reason to announce that you're going to upload or you haven't been uploading or that, you know, your schedule is changing. Nothing. It's, 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 no one cares! No one. Just upload a video and people will watch it or they won't. But, but this is a little bit more serious than that. Uh, I mean, I had already taken a short break from uploading. Or did I? I was already struggling with uploading because of the lightning storm that hit my house. That's in, uh... My Bed Wars video, if you want to go watch that. It's not a great video, but plug where you can plug, am I right? Uh, so my uploading schedule, recording schedule, was, was already struggling. Next thing I knew, I, I woke up Sunday morning to upload, and that's when I realized something was different. Every single one of my family members was missing, and they weren't just missing. They were replaced. There was something there. There was, in in each of their beds, unexplainably, a a bowl of jello. Even now, I still, I don't know what the jello meant, but but I did eat it, and it was delicious. They they were all they were all gone with no trace. Besides a trail of blood leading outside the front door. I later found out it was ketchup. I ate that too. I, I followed it. I rode uh, all across America, hitchhiking on various highways, and I actually, I actually stole a garbage truck and drove it straight through West Virginia. I, I followed the trail the direction it led, even though it cut off, I just, I kept going north, and it led me to Canada, and then it turned west, and led me to Alaska, and there in Alaska, there was a mountain with a cave entrance, this is all a true story by the way, this is why I haven't been uploading. There was an entrance to a cave, and and I was ready. I realized that this was it. It was time to go in and face whatever dangers awaited me in there, that my family was on the line. I had to save them. I pulled the katana out of my belly button. I was ready for anything. This was the moment I had been working towards. This, this is what I had come for, a battle of the ages. A fight for my kin, and that's when something amazing happened. My family, unshackled and unharmed, walked out of the cave, and one by one they told me that it was my time to enter, that I had to go, and to leave my only means of protection, my sacred belly button katana. I didn't know what to do. I I wasn't ready for that to happen. It was so unexpected. It was so surreal. I went in, and that's when I realized I had been wrong from the very beginning. The enemy that had kidnapped my family was not an enemy at all. Although I once thought he was. It was the lightning that struck my house, cloaked and sad. He, he never meant to hurt me. He never meant to damage my house or my stuff. He was just lonely. He just wanted friends. He just wanted love. And his story was all laid out in front of me. For the first time, everything made sense. It, it, it was like I had a responsibility to him. Like, I owed him something. He 
you made me realize what life's all about. It's not about your stuff. It's not about YouTube. It's not about what you can achieve. It's about the people around you. It's about having people around you. He didn't. He was alone. He was broken. He was nothing. He was depressed. But I'm back now, and I'll be hopefully uploading every Sunday rather regularly. We'll see how, how well I can stick to that and for how long. Be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification bell, comment down below what your favorite kind of lightning is. Comment uh, if you have any friends. Uh, I'll pin it. Uh, see you next time.